details this morning about an attack on board an American Airlines flight bound for John Wayne Airport. We are hearing from passengers and the airline after a man allegedly assaulted a flight attendant. Eyewitness News reporter Tony Cabrera has more from OC. <laughs> Cell phone video from inside the cabin shows passengers expressing their frustration with the suspect as authorities pull him from the plane in Denver. He's then seen escorted through the airport in handcuffs, wearing a mask after disrupting a flight that was supposed to go from JFK to John Wayne. Sipping good in business class and I just heard, I heard a, sir, get back, sir, get back. And I was like, what the heck is this? All of the lights came on and the captain asked for two able-bodied men to come to the front, which automatically is like alarming. While multiple passengers say the violence stemmed from him not wanting to wear a mask, American Airlines says it has no information suggesting it was related to mask compliance. Someone punched a flight attendant in the nose, broke her nose, and then we had a land in Denver. Um, I think it was broken, but it was bleeding a lot, so they had to take her to the hospital, had to make a pit stop in Denver. We're told it was so bad, the flight crew had to use duct tape to restrain the suspect. They duct taped them down, though, to the seat. They duct taped them down. Yeah. And I, I was just really scared. Was really My scared. heart was racing. The police did a great job responding immediately as soon as we taxied and stopped. They got him on and off. We all collectively booed him. The injured flight attendant was taken to the hospital, and after waiting two hours in Denver, passengers were finally back on board, landing in Orange County last night. When you hear one of the other flight attendants say that um, a woman was assaulted, just considering the environment and everything that's going on, my mind automatically went to a mask dilemma. The airline released a statement saying, we are outraged by the reports of what took place on board. Acts of violence against our team members are not tolerated by American Airlines. We're working with the appropriate authorities to support our team member and ensure a proper outcome is reached. And the individual involved in this incident will not be allowed to travel with us in the future. The FAA is enforcing its zero tolerance policy on in-flight disruptions that could lead to fines of up to $52,000 and 20 years in prison. So far this year, the agency's investigated a record number of these violations.